Hi guys, these are three amazing moves that you can help to reduce low back pain and cure some back issues. All right, I can't wait. These are gonna be so good for you after a long day at work or after you've been on your feet all day. Anything exactly. and everything. So show me, what's our first move? All right, move? let's do it. So you're gonna bring the roller behind you. We're gonna go into that inverted move. So you can just sit on the roller, maybe bring it a little forward so you have room behind you on the mat. And then come down, one arm at a time. And then you wanna lengthen the back of your neck, tuck your chin so your spine is elongated. Make sure that roller is in that right place so it's not too high or too low, right on the sacrum. And then bring your knees up one at a time. Hold on to the roller so it doesn't slip out from under you. And then we're just gonna inhale, roll the knees to the right, which is going to twist the spine and also give you that massage on your sacrum. The sacral muscles, the top of the glutes, and we're gonna go to the other side. Make sure you're breathing. The beauty of this move too is we are inverted, which is going to decompress the spine. Try to keep your shoulders on the mat too, so you're not gonna let either shoulder come up as you roll from side to side. Great Really tip. press into your shoulder blades. Yeah, that way you get a nice spinal twist too. Good, perfect. Now we're gonna add a figure four to this, which is gonna expose the sciatic nerve. So you're gonna cross your left ankle over your right. And the sciatic nerve is the nerve that goes all the way down the leg. And a lot of times when people have low back pain, they, they call it quote unquote sciatica. So you're just gonna come back. So what happens to the area here is the fascia gets really tight and glued and thick and dense. And you get those knots in here and it compresses the sciatic nerve. So we're basically reducing that tension and thickness and allowing that nerve to be happy. And then just breathing, inhale. And exhale, eight to 10 on each side. Good, okay, now we're gonna bring the roller out from underneath, and you're gonna sit up and bring the roller underneath your hips. And then we're gonna do the figure four in this position, and you're gonna take the left leg, cross it over the right, and actually roll slightly to the left. Put the right hand on the left knee, and that actually just helps stretch even further. Right, I'm really getting right on my left glute. So yeah. on your butt cheek, and you're gonna wanna go all the way up and all the way down. So true. You wanna roll up almost to the top of that hip bone. That'll really release, release yeah. the lower back. That's a really tight area for most people, and you don't even realize it until you're doing this, and you're like, <laughs> oh, wait, why does this hurt so bad? Exactly. Because you're tight. That's, what's your, that's what your back pain's coming from. And then we do eight to 10 on each side here as well. And it's really important to breathe through all this stuff, exactly. right? Exactly. You'll have a tendency to hold your breath because it's a little bit, it can be a little bit painful or uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but the more you breathe into it, the more you relax, the more benefits you're gonna get from this move. And the more you do it more consistently, the more effective it is and the less it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Exactly. And then we do the other side as well. And pushing that knee down gently. Rolling to the right slightly. This actually will literally cure people that have sciatica. Yeah. So effective. And it's pretty normal to be different from one side to the other, right, Lauren? You might have tension Absolutely. on one butt cheek and not the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that will change when you become more aligned. Exactly. Perfect. And that's it. I feel like a new woman. Yay. So good. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.